like a sexual person before Pretty Ricky? Or is mm -hmm. that just something that like, you know, you got on there like, all right, like we need you to be the, you know what I'm saying, the, 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 the sexy time man. Like, was that something that mm -hmm. just happened or was that always natural inside of you? Yeah, I was in the dance group since the third grade. And our <laughs> name of the dance group was named Forever Nasty. So like we we was baby forever nasty. Forever, and then the, wait, 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 in third grade. Yeah, yeah. We talking, always wow. we always had and I don't know what we was thinking back then, but yeah, the main group was named Forever Nasty and the, and, and our group name was Baby for, Forever Nasty. Wow. And then, you know, I was always dancing on stage called the National Guard in Miami and we used to dance the Arabian Nights Festival, um, Martin Luther King Parade. Like we used to dance on all stages. So that was always my passion since day one. I didn't start rapping until I got in middle school. My father made me get in the group with my brothers and and not only like, damn, I'm thinking about it now. Like, yeah, I was always on stage. Before I was rapping, I was on stage. Wow, I never even thought about this. But yeah, so <laughs> I was always an entertainer, bro. I was always an entertainer. Wow. And I was always the one getting snatched off stage and dancing, you know, and fan favorite and things like that. So that is, it, is, it always been my swag. But just to answer the sexual question, like, all we can do is have sex back then. Like, my father ain't let us go nowhere. We was on strict punishment, like, or we was just on, on a strict lockdown that he didn't want us to go outside and get in no trouble. So all he let us do is bring girls back home. <laughs> it was like, all right, wow. you can't do nothing else, but you can go ahead and you can bring girls in, bring the party to you. So we was always having a great old time. So when we start talking, when we start creating music, we start talking about what we knew about. You know, and that's where the sex music came from. We created Grano Me. That was our first sex record ever. And then mm -hmm. from that point forward, we was like, yo, this is it. And we just always talked about what we knew.